And we met today for a full morning of discussion because of our deep concern and because of our determination that Belgrade will understand that its behavior in Kosovo cannot be regarded simply as an internal matter. Serious violations of human rights, of civil liberties, of the freedom of political expression are matters of concern to every member of the international community and cannot be regarded simply as an internal matter. We have adopted an action plan of a dozen different points which are designed to bring stability to Kosovo and to end the violence. We have uh, agreed that the prosecutor of the International Court, uh, the International Criminal Tribunal and Yugoslavia should consider the prosecution of anyone who may have committed a violation of humanitarian law in Kosovo. We have also proceeded to a number of sanctions which we will apply now and which will remain in force until we are clearer that specific steps have been taken by Belgrade to end the violence and to end the repression in Kosovo. We have agreed to go to the Security Council for a comprehensive arms embargo against the Federal Republic of Yugoslavia. We have agreed to refuse to supply equipment that might be used for internal repression. We have agreed to deny visas for senior members of the government of Yugoslavia. And we have agreed that we will impose a moratorium on government credit for investment trade with Yugoslavia, including in particular the privatization of the Serb state enterprises which currently provides the basis on which President Milosevic is able to pay his way. We will be monitoring closely the situation in Kosovo. And I want President Milosevic to clearly understand we will be watching closely how he responds to today's statement. I hope when we meet again, we will be able to see evidence of the situation in Kosovo stabilizing on the basis of respect for civil liberties, freedom of expression, and international law. Thank you very much.